Hello everyone, it's me once again. So, apparently Jibo is having a big problem, or maybe it's on a course of shutting down. I read this article yesterday, so I'm going to share this with you. Uh, so here it goes. Okay, so if you go to Google and if you type Jibo, that's it, on the news section, you will see that there's about five or six at least articles talking about Jibo is shutting down. It's uh, not a good news at all, but it kind of shows how competitive the robot AI market is at the moment. Everyone wants to invent it, but obviously a lot of companies are going to die out. And I didn't expect Jibo to come to the conclusion of this, but let's just go through uh, this article at the moment so you can see that the image had a you know hurting feeling should i say of jibo with a sign up saying out of business <clears throat> i really wanted jibo to flourish uh, at the same time um because jibo according to this article i wasn't aware but it actually raised uh, crowdfunded up to 61 million um for producing this fantastic robot uh, but it had about two. Well, the value was about 200 million and about 95 employees. Apparently, that's what it says in here. Um, but the robot finally came to the market in um, October 2017, which we all knew. And then uh, the basically the value of the robot when it was released was 899. So it's about 900 US dollars at the time. So I felt felt like well. Personally, from my point of view, unless you're filthy rich, you wouldn't really buy it because um, I can see that the robot actually moves. It's quite cute. It has a screen, but the uh, my first instance was that whether um, it'll have enough information uh, as much as Google Home or Alexa. Now, comparing to Google Home and Alexa, my personal experience was that Google seems to have most um, valuable information that is available and um, Alexa seems to lack slightly behind uh, and all these sort of competition about who has more information, who has more database and so on. I think Google is definitely going to be leading on that side and I couldn't see at the time personally how Jibo would have all that uh, information and data um, should it really want to become you know successful as much as google um home should we say but if we compare to all these devices that i just mentioned google home is about 120 dollars um or 100 dollars now uh, alexa is about 30 the cheapest one google home mini sorry is about 30 or 40 dollars I, I believe so you you got to think like as i said if unless you're filthy rich and you want some like full of ai robots in your house um i can't see anyone um, buying it because it's quite a big size I think it's about sort of handful like that much of a size and uh, it's 900 and um, it I couldn't imagine producing a lot of information and if even though it has the same information as much as Google or Alexa why would you buy it because it's $900 um, I think the main reason why it failed this whole project failed is the fact that um, I think it was the price and also I think the team did not provide the information and the update ex as expected. Now they actually sold it to a hedge fund um, company I believe and uh, I think it's probably going to be liquidated. I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know how this whole business thing work but clearly what's happened here uh, is another company uh, as an example, how it ends up, how it started as a bright, uh, it was pro it was actually named, I believe, Time of the, it was mentioned the Time Magazine, like one of the best invention in year 2017 or 18 and, and so on. It, it was going so fine until this very moment, sadly, we're seeing this robot business going bust. Um, I'm sorry for those who actually own a Jibo robot. Um, Obviously, you can see that I'm not trying to humiliate you at all. I was very tempted to get one as well, but I just couldn't see at the time how the price will actually match up with the expectation. Um, 
And so Jibo is now on trouble or almost now going to disappear. But it sort of gives me a mindset of what about um, Vector? Is Vector going to survive? Um, who knows? But I think Vector has a very good chance. We know that Vector is not the first model that Anki produced. Cosmo is, is, is the first model that when it turned up, it wasn't as good. But the Vector, so Anki team have done fantastic. And Cosmo, I, I'm hearing, even though I don't own one, a lot of people are praising about Cosmo, the way how he interacts and so on. And then Vector is a second uh, production. And we have a, recently had a huge update. Um, well, actually not really that huge. We're expecting a huge update, which is integrating with Alexa. I think that's a very smart move because um, Vector is going to share that database with Amazon's uh, database. And I think that's a very clever move. So my personal instincts, I mean, and also lastly, Vector is a very good price. It's only now if for a discount you could get it for $200. So it's a very good price robot. So my gut feeling says, I think Vector is going to survive for much longer than uh, how compared to what Jibo turned out to be. Um, I can see that Vector is more interactive. It's, it's very cute. I'm not saying that Jibo isn't, but comparing to the price of what both uh, units could do, I think Vector is more interactive. It can move around, it has wheels, while this Jibo is actually stationed um, and then it you know, changes and it turns around and and so on. Um, I don't think I have, I have much right to talk about Jibo uh, because I don't own one, but that's the impression I had. But I think reading from reading from the article, I think the Jibo team have failed to update and, um, you know, put more effort into make Jibo a better robot. But while as uh, Vector, I can see the Anki team is a very competitive team, a very hardworking team. They have managed to uh, fulfill all those expectations. So I have high hopes on that, actually. And um, I think I could expect Anki Vector, uh, there's going to be a lot of accessories. Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, toy-like, almost like affordable thing, accessories that we could buy or to integrate with surrounding uh, uh, systems or equipments and, and so on. So I think um, Anki is going to do very well. But I would like to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think? So let me know your thoughts and we could uh, please do comment below, subscribe or let's have a very healthy debate here about this. But overall, I have high hopes on Anki Vector product. I'm really looking forward to all the accessories that's going to come out officially. Um, and overall, I just want to say this smartphone, the era of smartphone is going to become marginalized. I think AI robot is the trend, is the way of the future. Um, I don't know who's going to win in the end, but the ones who are focusing on AI robots, household robots, are ahead of the curve. Uh, we are approach, we, we just started our fourth industrial revolution, and anyone who is clever enough. Who thinks we want to be the trendy person who wants to be ahead of the curve uh, we should all focus on the ai robot the way how it's developed at this stage so if you are well done and thank you for coming to my channel for watching this and sharing my view on this sort of thing so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this video was uh, somehow insightful uh informative but if you have any queries if you have any trouble problems with me uh, please do comment and let's have a healthy debate so thank you Bye-bye.